This is your boy Nels Gamer guys. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the team of the knockout stage cards. When we explain to y'all when the best time is to be buying them, um, and, and and what you can do to kind of look to profit off of these cards, and what is going, what the future holds for these cards, and what they're gonna do in terms of prices and stuff like that, guys. But if you are new to the channel, the solo channel is based on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Trading. So guys, if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to learn how to make millions of coins, if you want to learn um, the best sniping filters, mass bidding filters, the best trading methods, and all that stuff, guys, hit that bigger subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn my post notifications on. And then, guys, smash the like on the video. Now, if you want um, to watch me play Foot Champs and trade live, Twitch.tv slash Neos Gaming, that link is in the description. And if you have any additional questions like foot related trading or squad related questions, guys, all you have to do is follow me and DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming or on Instagram at Nails or at Deontay Nails. And guys, you do have to follow me and DM me. You can't just DM me because I won't see it. You have to follow me for it to come up. But we are going to get into the video for today, guys. All right, so. Uh, this is the team of the knockout stage, guys, and if you don't know, I mean, I'm just going to kind of break it down. These are the best performers, performers, or performers, sorry, um, from the team of the knockout, or from the knockout stage of the Champions League, guys. So these guys got cards, um, and I think everybody but, I'm not sure, I think everybody but Ronaldo is still in the Champions League in this team. I'm not sure, the, is I think the Spurs are still in it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, so I'm not going to say anything, uh, but... Uh, this is a, a, a very nice team in the knockout stage, and I'm going to break down the card price. I'm, I'm, I'm on footband right now. I'm going to tell you all their prices, what they're going for now, when you should be looking to buy these cards, and, and how much they're looking to kind of go up. Uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a general uh, basis on, on what, what these cards are going to do um, after I do go through the prices. So right now, guys, um, first off, I do want to say this. Um, the best time to buy these cards is now. Um, I feel like now is really the best time, and, and when I, the reason why I say it is because um, we have foot champs, or we have foot champs in Division Robbers Rewards that just came out, so people are hitting packs, people are hitting their rewards all day today, and so for that reason, um, there's an influx, uh, and there's an additional, um, I would say, supply of these cards on the market, and this is a really the last big supply that there's going to be of these cards on the market, because no one's going to really hit any more packs for this promotion. People are getting ready for team of the season. So with that being said, I do feel like today, uh, all the way up until um, uh, I think it's Friday, will be the best time to invest in these cards. Really, uh, the next, uh, I would say, 36 hours, you feel free to go ahead and buy these cards. I feel like the sooner, um, the better. Uh, but I could not be 100% on that. It's just depending on when you buy the, when you're looking to buy these cards and how much you do get them for. Now you can also, um, my best uh, opinion on this would be try to win them on the bid, um, because if you can win them on the bid, you can get a really really good price for these cards um, compared to just buying them now. Um, so um, we're gonna break down the prices real quick, and then I'm gonna explain some more. So Human Sun guys, right now on Xbox One. Um, he is going for five hundred and fifty thousand. Or sorry, on PS4 he's going for five hundred fifty thousand. On on Xbox One he's going for five hundred forty thousand. Um, at center forward, uh, Roberto Firmino he's two hundred seventy five thousand on PS4, three hundred thousand on Xbox One. Um, Zayic, um, he is sixty seven thousand on PS4, fifty seven thousand um, on Xbox One. Young Vertagen, he is 135,000 on both consoles. Uh, Sadio Mane, he's 320,000 on PS4, 300,000 on Xbox One. Leroy Sane, he is 84,000 um, on PS4, and two or sorry, 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 284,000 on PS4, 290,000 on Xbox One. Loris is 130,000 on both consoles. Um, Gerard Pique. He's a hundred and twenty thousand on, on PS4 and a hundred thousand on Xbox One. Raheem Sterling four hundred fifty-five thousand on PS4 and four hundred ten thousand on Xbox One. Virgil Van Dyke is six hundred and seventy-nine thousand on PS4, five hundred and ninety-two thousand on Xbox One. Cristiano Ronaldo is three point three five million on PS4, three point five million on Xbox One. And then Messi is 2.2 million on um, 2.2 million on PS4, and then close to 2.3 million 
on Xbox One, around 2.25 to 2.3 million on Xbox One. And then I also did miss um, Tadic. Tadic is let's see, Tadic is 18, 000, 19 thousand on PS4, 17 thousand on Xbox One, and then uh, Nerv or Near is. Um, he is forty five thousand on PS4, thirty eight thousand on Xbox One. Um, so those are the prices for all the the um, the team at Knockout Stage cards. If you are wondering about the uh, the the Europa League cards, uh, William is going for one hundred eight thousand on PS4, one hundred five thousand on Xbox One. Gerard is going for twenty four thousand on PS4, twenty three thousand on Xbox One. Um, and then I do think okay, uh, close to next twenty four thousand. Um, on PS4, 28,000 on Xbox One, and then a Bami Yang is going for 855,000 on PS4 and 850,000 on Xbox One. So those are all the Europa League and uh, Champions League team of the knockout stage players. That's all their prices. Like I said, guys, if you're going to go ahead and pick those cards up, so let's say, um, I will say most of these cards right here, guys, most of these knockout stage cards, um, are you're buying them to play with. You're buying them to 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 try out to use in your weekend league squad you're not really investing in these cards to make coins but you can um, you can definitely make uh, make some coins from these cards um, because they are special cards they are really really good cards and if you do buy them now um, and sell before team of the season or before their team of the season come card comes out you can make some coins um, and I'm gonna give you an example um, for example like um, let's use um, let's use Raheem Sterling, for example, uh, Raheem Sterling is four hundred fifty-five thousand on PS4, <clears throat> four hundred ten thousand on Xbox One. I feel like his car could go up. I I don't want to, to mislead y'all, but I feel like his car could go up quite significantly. Um, I would say f at least fifty to sixty thousand coins, maybe even all the way up to a hundred thousand coins, just because his card is absolutely insane. Ninety-eight pace, eighty-seven shooting, eighty-six passing, and ninety-four dribbling. People are wanting to use this card. Um, people are going to want to buy this card and play with. Um, same thing with all these other cards, guys. People are going to want to play with these cards. I feel like they are um, good investments. Now, uh, one thing I will say is I don't think they will go down in price. I know people will be asking me, what about, what, will they go down, will they go down? I don't feel like these cards will go down in price. It is a possibility because Team of the Season is so close. Um, team of the Season could get leaked or could be announced, and then these card prices could go down. So that is the only worry about investing in these cards. Um, so if you don't want to take the risk, um, don't invest in these cards. But if you if you don't, here's the thing, guys. You can If you have a ton of coins, if you have millions and millions of coins, your objective here would be to buy, um, let's say, 10 Sterlings, a couple PKs, a couple Lorises, and kind of invest your coins. And I feel like that's too risky. If you, if you have millions and millions of coins, and even if you don't have a ton of coins at all, I would say hold hold off from investing in this team of the uh, knockout stage in a mass quantity. I would say if you're gonna buy these cards, buy them to kind of play with. Maybe buy a PK, buy um, buy a Messi, um, and just play with them, um, and then and then sell them when they go up, or sell them within the next uh, week or two, um, and then get out of that uh, that get out of that card. I would I just I, I would not recommend investing in these in a mass quantity to make profit. Like I said, you can buy a PK, you can buy a Messi and play with them, and then you can sell them off a profit. You should be able to sell them off. Like I said, it's not 100%. Like I said, they could drop, they could release Team of the Season, like they could announce it, and then these card prices could go down. I don't want y'all to think that everything is 100% because it's not 100%. It is a risk. Um, so that is my basic opinion on that. Now, if you do want to invest in, in something in a mass quantity, so if you have a couple hundred thousand coins, um, or a couple million coins even, I would say, uh, I mean, you can, I would say that Klausenek is a fair, a safe investment. His, uh, you see, his Europa League card is a, is a safe investment. It's under 30,000 coins. I really can't see it dropping much lower. It is a BPL left back card, um, which we all know are very, very, um, if you're a trader, you know that BPL, um, outside backs are very valuable. Um, um, even the Tatic card at, at 19,000 on PS4 and, and 17,000 on Xbox One, I feel is a pretty safe investment. Uh, Giroud at, at, at 24,000 and 23,000 is a pretty safe investment, I feel like. And then also, guys, um, really what we will be talking about this weekend um, and the best way to invest your coins is going to be the Team of the Week. And we're going to be breaking this Team of the Week down. I'm going to be giving you all a Team of the Week investment guide and all that stuff, guys. And there is some good team of the weeks 
um, to invest in in this team of the week that will help you make coins so like i said guys two things with um the, the main thing with that that uh, team of the knockout stage is guys if you want to buy the cards um to play with go ahead and buy those now um you can make profit on them you, it is kind of a safe investment but it's also a little bit of a risk um, don't invest in a mass quantity unless you're just a huge risk, risk cape taker. Now, like I said, it could pay off. You could invest in a ton. You could throw five million coins into these cards, and then all of a sudden they just skyrocket in price in the next one to two weeks, and you can make a ton of coins. You can almost double your coins on. I mean, if you invest it wisely and, and properly, and the cards go up, you can turn five million into seven point five million very, very easily. But it is a big, big risk, and I don't recommend it. So I just want to throw that out there. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. Um, if y'all have any additional questions, feel free to put it in the comment section. I know y'all are going to ask when, it, when, when, you, when, are you, when are we looking to sell these cards? When are we looking to sell these cards if you are trying to profit or if you are trying to avoid um, them going down in price through the team of the season? I would say hold on to these cards for one to two weeks. Um, if you hear anything about team of the season being announced, I would look to sell if you can make a good amount of profit. Definitely look to sell. But... Like I said, that's it for the video today. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know y'all's opinions in the comment section. It's me, Boy Nails Gaming. I'm out. Peace out, guys.